Time Warp tool allows you to adjust the tempo of Cubase to fit audio or to fit film cues. I have a drum beat here that has wavering tempo changes. If the drummer in your band records drums without a click, you can have Cubase follow them afterwards using this tool. Click the Time Warp tool here. You'll notice the ruler changes color, letting you know that you are in Time Warp mode. Now zoom into the audio file and make sure you can see the audio file well. You can get rid of the inspector if you want more room. Everything depends on the snap. I like to turn snap on, set it to grid, use quantize, and then quarter notes. This gives me enough control over what I'm about to do. To move the tempo around, you can grab bar two, not in the ruler area, but right on the waveform, and line it up with the audio. This works nicely if there's only one tempo, but this audio file has tempo variations. So to lock this tempo change in, click under bar two and line up the audio. If you want to erase a tempo change, hold down shift and click on the tempo change in the ruler. Play the audio and then line up the rest. Now everything should be lined up. Sometimes tempo changes every bar aren't good enough. Let's add some quarter note tempo changes to tighten this up. You can pretty much see when things don't line up. Use the cursor to line the beat up right at the start of the transient. If you need to change any tempo changes that are already in there, just click on them and move them around. I can hear a few spots that could still use improvement, but it's sounding pretty good. This tool can also be used in the sample, audio, and MIDI editors.